All right, get your Bibles out and they'll be seated. Huh. How many of y'all know God's a merciful God? Amen. But his mercy is nothing to play with. Let me get to this while it's fresh on my mind. His mercy is nothing to play with. This is fresh out the oven. First Kings chapter 2. I want to encourage someone. There's only a hundred and some days left. I want to encourage someone that God has given you another chance. I want to encourage someone to stay in Jerusalem. Let me say it again. He's giving you another chance. Amen. Somebody thank God for another chance. Another chance. Huh? So uh, God gave this man, and we're going to talk about little John, another chance. He was supposed to have been dead twice over. Twice over. Uh, because Rico, he violated the laws of God. But God was merciful. Anybody here who has received any mercy from God? Huh? Do I, do I have anyone who has been a serial violator but God? The reason why you're here is because of God. Amen. So I see right now, amen, why he wanted me to teach this. Only thing I have to do is make sure I don't have no blood on my hands and get in my fast car and go home. This is rough. 1 Kings chapter 2, verse 36. Uh, I was in 2 Kings, I'm sorry. 1 Kings chapter 2, I got it. And the king sent and called for Shimei. The name is Shimei. I'll give you a little history on him. You got to pay attention because I'm going to do it and drop the mic. <laughs> and said unto Shimei, said unto him, Build thee a house in Jerusalem and dwell there and go not forth thence any whither. Build you a house. Don't rent a house. Build one. Build it and don't leave. Don't go nowhere. Verse 37. For, For it shall be that on the day thou goest out and passest over the book Kidron, thou shalt know for certain that thou shalt surely die. Uh, the day that you go past and pass over the brook Kidron, you out of here. All right? Remember, it's not my handwriting. So why would God, I'm giving you the background of this man. Thou shalt know for certain that thou shalt surely die. Thy blood shall be upon thy own head. And like most people, when God has given you a break, you come back with a positive Thank you, Lord. You clap. Amen, Lord. I know that was you. Oh, I'll never leave Jerusalem. Amen. I learned my, come on, look at me. I learned my lesson. Uh, I learned my lesson. I'm so glad to be alive. I'm so glad that God gave me another chance. Huh? I'm so glad. Oh, that was a close call. That was a close, how many of y'all had some close call? That was a close call. I don't ever want to be out of the will of God again. 
I don't ever want to be on the other side of God's will again. I don't ever want to be in that situation again. I don't ever want to be in that relationship again. Huh, God, I thank you. Huh? Yeah. So here's a human response. Look at verse 38. And Shimei said unto the king, The saying is good. The saying is good. Oh, I'm so happy. Read. As my lord the king hath said, so will thy servant do. And Shimei dwelt in Jerusalem many days. Uh, many days. Uh, did he give, was he given instruction to stay many days? He was given instruction to never leave, right? Many days. Ain't it like devil to let many days elapse and you forget what you told God or more so what God told you. Amen. That's why you come to the house of God. That's why you want your heart fixed so don't you ever forget, so that you never forget the break that God has given you. Amen. That's why you rebuke yourself. You remind yourself if you got to write it on a mirror. If you got to put a note. Amen. Somewhere. Jesus, I'll never forget what you've done for me. Amen. That thing you brought me out of, that trick you brought me out of, when that bullet whizzed over my head, I can't forget. But something about flesh, something about many days, something about, amen, we tend to forget. Some of y'all have forgotten the break that God has given you. Amen. Every... And because of flesh, amen, you become careless and more careless. But a word came this morning. You better remember what God told you. You better remember what God told you to build. And you better remember that he told you to never leave, amen. Many days. This is the day the Lord has made rejoice and be glad. What God told you, amen, goes for you today. Uh, I'm giving you a background on him. All right? So he says, yes. Look at verse 39. And it came to pass at the end of three years that two of the servants of Shimei ran away into Achish, son of Makkah, king of Gath. At the end of what? Three years. Two of thy servants. So watch this now. He comes there, the man, the, the, the king tells him don't leave, he stays three years, he picks up servants. So look, even though he had a death sentence over his head, look how blessed he was that he stayed in Jerusalem. He got servants. You ain't got any servants, amen. He's got some servants uh, because you're always blessed when you stay in the will of God, amen. The will of God is the safest place in the earth. Look at the earthquake that happened the other day, amen, that some of y'all felt. Amen. That wasn't your lover, that was God, amen. Don't get it twisted. Amen. That was God, the earth moving under your feet. Amen. That'll help some of y'all. Some of y'all just hallucinate. And you know it wasn't your lover, you're by yourself. Anyway, oh Lord have mercy. Amen. But everybody wasn't ready for no earthquake. Amen. I just show you God every now and then. He flexes his power because he's a sovereign God. Amen. He's a powerful God. Amen. But let's say the earth had opened up. I wonder how many people would have been scamping, who would have been putting their weed out, like trying to run to the same thing. Isn't it good to know whether the earth opened up or not? I'm smack dab in the will of God. Amen. It don't matter. Open up the earth. Amen. I'm where I'm supposed to be. My heart is fixed. My mind is made up. My heart is resolute. My heart is firm. I don't know. Every time, amen, the clouds get dark. Some of y'all try to bring out the mass choir album or something. And that's just crazy. Just stay in the will of God. After three years, two of his servants ran off. Now watch. I'm getting back. So I'm almost done. And so Shimei goes to a place called Gath. It was only 64 miles away. See, so it wasn't even to Des Moines. Okay? Des Moines is 120. 
So what part of the morning you want to go in? It's only 60 some miles, 64 miles away. So what's the big deal? What does it matter? Huh? It matters a lot when you have a death penalty over you and the king tells you, don't leave. He didn't give you a 64 mile, amen, uh, a cushion. You were never supposed to leave because of what was hanging over your head. Because twice, amen, you have been kept from death, amen, and God has a right to hold you, amen, accountable, amen, when he's been merciful to you. It wouldn't have matter if all his servants had left, if his mama had left, if his wife had left. I can't leave because of what God has done for me, amen. Somebody here, hurry up and get rid of your excuses, amen. It does not matter, amen. God gave you the break of breaks. He is not playing with you. Amen. He was not playing with this man. Somebody give God some praise. Amen. I could be preaching something else, but God wants somebody to live and remember what he did for you. I'm almost finished. Oh, some of y'all, yeah, it was too close, amen. It's too close. You can't keep living like that. You cannot forget, keep forgetting how good God is being to you. Amen. I don't care if you're at Walmart. Stand up and praise God. I don't care if you're on six of the days. Put a call over and say, God, I thank you. He's been that good. And everybody know what I'm talking about. When you have received the mercy of God, the benefits of God. forget. I saw what he did. I know what he did. I remind myself how good he's been in me. This man, I'm almost done. This man, Lord have mercy. See, I, I see my airline story. I talked to you because for 40 years, you were on a death ride. Amen. Hey, so, you have an advantage. You hit air pockets. And you've seen planes dance and dip. And you've heard, amen, what the tower said. But you are still here. No wonder you praise God. For 40 years, other planes have crashed, but yours has never crashed. Amen. Ah, yeah. uh, maybe you cut differently. Maybe you remember you're sitting next to the love of your life. Maybe you remember what God did a long time ago. Oh, why is it that some people never forget and other people forget it all the time? Some people never forget. You can tell them how blessed they are, how good they look, but if you keep talking to them, you know, they'll tell you, oh, that's all good. But I remember when I was in trouble. I remember when I was flat on my back. I remember when my back was against the wall. I remember when my feet were dangling over the edge. I remember. Why is it that some forget? Quickly. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Man, Grace is a deep church. We done buried people. We done buried. One day we see them. Next minute they gone. But some people forget. Amen. Lord have mercy. I want to be one of those who never forgets. I don't care what God has done for me. Huh? I've had to give God praise in a store before. Amen. Hey, come on now. You better give him praise when he called for it. I've had to drop down. People thought I dropped something. I didn't drop nothing. Lord, I thank you. You just reminded me, amen, what you've done for me. Shimmy, I. I'm going to mess with y'all now. Since this is a weekend, look at verse 40. And Shimei arose and saddled his ass <laughs> and went to Gath to Achish to seek his servants. Why is it always an ass in Bob when you're out the will of God? <laughs> Y'all figure that out. 
Y'all figure that out. You re, you cut that out to about. Why is it always an ass involved when somebody's out the will of God? Huh? Read. <laughs> and Shimei went and brought his servants from Gath. Look, at it, it didn't take long for the word to get back, did it? Let me give you a background on Shimei in case you think God is unfair. It goes back to 2 Samuel. David was minding his own business. I'll tell you what turns. I'm going to slow it down. Turn, turn. Uh, 2 Samuel chapter 16. Even some of y'all get tired of warning the same people over here. Uh, come on now, the same people. Hey, how many of y'all have warned the same people over and over? Amen. Get yourself together. Amen. It ain't going to keep going on like this. I'm going to change. Man. And we humanly we get tired of warning the same people. Here's how this man got out of order. 2 Samuel chapter 16. Look at verse 5. And when King David came to Bahram, behold, then came out a man of the family of the house David was minding his own business. He was running from his son, son crazy. One of, one of, one of those kids, baby kids. Amen. Well, part of it was his fault because he ignored him and, and, and what he did. So he reaping. See, folks don't want to reap. But anyway, he, so he, he, he mind his own business up. This man busts out, starts cursing David, cussing David, and throwing stones. Now, I don't know what he was smoking that day. I don't know what the man problem was. But, 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 but David had all his goons with him. He had his bad men with him. They don't call them goons. They call them mighty men in the Bible. I call them goons because you can relate to that. Amen. He had all his men with him. And so the man comes out, tells David all that he's not. You bloody man. You did this and this and this. This and this. So one of the goons, one of the goons said, ah, let me go ahead and cut that head off. He'll never have another headache. Amen. Let me go cut that head off right now. Take him. And David said, no, 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 no. He rebukes his goon. Put your strap up. Put it up. Maybe God meant for me to get cussed out today. He, he meant for me to get cussed out. All right. He meant for this man to throw stones. And so, so the man just, just railing on David. Now think about this. The goon was not out of order because the man had broken the law. You do not put your mouth on God's anointed. Amen. You do not put your mouth on God's ruler or king. That's in Exodus, amen, chapter 22. So the goon, but the goon was just operating out of, you don't disrespect the man who, amen, found me one day in a cave, amen. Because I remember when I wasn't mighty, and you don't disrespect this man. Matter of fact, he was down when he found me, and he built me back up. You ain't gonna, you ain't gonna, amen, talk bad about the one who built me back up when I didn't have nothing to offer here. Amen. Some people ain't cut that way. You don't put your mouth on somebody who prayed for me. Who, amen, held me to a higher standard. Who took the stink off of me. Who took the liquor out of my throat. Amen. Who took the whole mother out of my spirit. You don't put your mouth on somebody. Amen. Who allowed me. Amen. Amen. To measure up and brought me a word to be a man of God. You don't put your mouth on somebody who a pimp off of me. Amen. Held me responsible. And the reason why I'm blessed. Amen. Some people just ain't cut that way. Yeah. This man remembers how he came to the cave. Oh, I'm going to take his head off. Only David could stop this man from killing Shimei. Because Shimei just, he gets even further. Let me show you. Look at verse 9. Uh, that man's name, Abishai. Read. Then said Abishai, the son of Zeruah, unto the king, Why should this dead dog curse my lord, the king? Let me go over, I pray thee. Did he call him a dead dog? He called the dog dead before the dog died. So he wasn't trying to hurt him, was he? No, he wasn't trying to hurt him. You'll never have another headache. 
take his head off. And then the king, king rebukes him, verse 10. And the king said, What have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruah? So let him curse, because the Lord hath said unto him, <laughs> Curse David. Who shall then say, Wherefore hast thou done so? Man, he caught David in one of the most chilled modes ever. <laughs> Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. You ever had somebody roll up on you that you don't whip before? Man. And they got up in your face, trying to front at the block party, the family picnic, the cookout. Uh, and you they just and you just kinda like, uh, go on. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it just they caught you in a chill mode. Uh -huh. just, just you no, know, you know, maybe that's what God wanted for, to happen. Huh? So David chilled. Man, David either kill you or he recites poetry. But David's chill right now. Like, you know, maybe, you know, I'm supposed to be cussed out today. I'm just going to get cussed out. All right? So, so the man, look at, look at verse 11. And David said to Abishai and to all his servants, Behold, my son, which came forth of my bowels, seeketh my life. How much more now may this Benjamite do it? Let him alone. Let him alone. And let him curse. Let him curse. For the Lord hath bitten him. In other words, you know, my son trying to kill me. So he caught David in the right chill. Like, look, this ain't my problem. Who is this dude ain't doing? He just cussing. He just talking. He just spitting. He just throwing little pebbles. And then later on, y'all gonna crack up, you know, because all you do is drop f bombs and and I'm like, is there a problem? No good. Well, you ain't got a water gun, you know. <laughs> Some of y'all need to stay in church. Don't even go out in the street. All right, you bluff too much, huh? So so. <laughs> They bluff too much. Uh, so, so then he picks up some dust, which is an oriental custom. He takes some dust. He done thrown a rock at him and cussed him out, talking about his mom and everything else. He takes some dust and throws it on him. Mm. Like what that supposed to do? Mm. The dust means that you're angry. Okay? <laughs> the dust means that you're angry and that you have contempt for that person. And hopefully they're so hurt by your anger that they'll cover themselves and jump in a grave and cover themselves with dust. That's what I thought. It had no effect, all right? But that's, that's what he did. So he threw dust at So look at verse 13. And as David and his men went by the way, Shimei went along. Well, read, read, read 12, uh, because this is funny what David said. It may be that the Lord will look on mine affliction, and that the Lord will requite me for good, for his cursing is <laughs> David said, you know what, God, you know, this fool cussing me out. Do something for me today. Uh, that's not a bad technique. Do something for me today, you know, while this, per while this person is out of order. Okay? You might want to try to, especially if you need that job to pay your bills. Don't go balling your fist up. Amen. That far behind on MUD or OPPD. All right, read. And as David and his men went by the way, Shimei went along on the hillside over against him and cursed as he went. He following him. Read. And threw stones at him and cast dust. <laughs> Verse 14. And the king and all the people that were with him came weary and refreshed themselves there. Is that called? They just ignored him. He followed behind. David got all these goons. Uh, I told the story before, but uh, 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 she ain't heard it. Uh, we had a, uh, I was at the game doing my little community thing. Yeah. This, this dude in the stands was getting on everybody's nerves. So he got on some real hootlums nerves. So after the game, they must have said something to him. Oh, he put on a show. Remember it's Kim Bradshaw? You know how thin Kim Bradshaw was? Anyway, this dude gets behind Kim Bradshaw. On my hood! Blank, 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 on my hood! And so, you know, the dude that I was talking to was on swole. He was a big dude. And he's all the time he ain't saying nothing. He walking toward old man. Old man bouncing behind Kim. On my hood, on the ab, whatever he say. Uh, you know, just and I was just all Kim had to do was just step to the side. But he every time Kim moved, he got behind Kim. You know, and, uh, and so so old dude I was with, he ain't saying nothing, he walking. So I'm like, man, he gonna kill that dude. So it was dark. I said, I'm Pastor Barlow. He said, I know who you are. 
He said, I said, man, if you whoop this dude, you can't go to the pen. If you hurt this dude, you go to the pen. You can't be talking to the bunkie about who you hurt. They're going to laugh at you. In other words, if you whoop this dude, you ain't going to get no credit for it. This is going to make you look bad. <laughs> Huh? And, and look, you know he bounced up your hand, kill him. You know he, he you know one of them. Right. And then he said, Barlow, you right. So he walk, he walks away and still man when he walks away, oh boy, he tries to come back. Yeah, you know this. I say his life. He owe me. He owe me. Anyway, Davis man, he just ignored this. I, 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 all right, beauty, I'm almost done, baby. <laughs> David's men just ignore him because David, like, you know what? He ain't worth it. Maybe God will bless me. Story gets good. So that's when David was running for after. Lo and behold, David becomes the king. Guess who was the first person running to him? Oh, boy. Shimei, I'll show you. Look at verse 19. David, David becomes king. Go to chapter 19 and look at verse 15. And look who running out the look at who running out the projects first. Look at verse 15. So the king returned and came to Jordan. And Judah came to Gilgal and to go to meet the king to conduct the king over Jordan. And Shimei, of the son of Gera, a Benjamite, which was of Bahurim, hasted and came down with the... Here he come running. See, because, you know, David is showing up king. He ain't running no more. Here comes Shimei. But his up, the, other, the same goon says, and Shimei trying to apologize, talking about I was perverse that day. And the same goon said, we'll just kill you today. You know, some people just, <laughs> no, man, it's a good, I'm not done. It's a good story. Like, look at verse 19. And the king, and, and said unto the king, let not my Lord impute iniquity unto me, neither do thou remember that which <laughs> thy servant did perversely the day that my Lord the king went out of Jerusalem, so that the king should take it to his heart. Don't take it to your heart that I threw rocks at you, cussed you out, and threw some dust on you. Read. For thy servant doth know that I have sinned. Therefore, behold, I am come the first this day of all the house of Joseph to go down to meet my lord, the king. I'm the first one. Look what the goon said. Let me see. I think it's the same goon. It's the same goon. He mad, y'all. Look at verse 21. What did he say? But Abishai, the son of Zeruah, answered and said, Shall not Shimei be put to death for this? Because he cursed the king's, the Lord's anointed. Uh-oh. He ain't got over it. This is just another day, good day for you to die. Another day. So David has to stop him again. You know, in baseball, you get three strikes, right? His strike two. Look what David said. He rebukes the goon again. And David said, what have I to do with you, ye sons of Zeruah, that ye should this day be adversaries unto me? Shall there any man be put to death this day in Israel? For do not I know that I am this day king over Israel? Therefore the king said unto Shimei, Thou shalt not die, and the king swear unto him. So, now now put it together. So the first time he out of pocket, and David says, uh, I got my, my son tripping. You, you, you minor compared to my son tripping. My son want to kill me. You just want to cuss me out. All right. You know, I'm going to let you slide. The second time, he catches David. No, man, I just became king today. I ain't trying to get no blood on this outfit. No, you got to be kidding. It's my first day on the throne. I ain't trying to do it. So look, man, look at all the timing. Man, isn't that why people say, man, I was lucky. I was, you weren't lucky. It just so happened, amen, that when you supposed to die, that God said it wasn't time yet. Somebody give God some praise, amen. That's why you got to be careful. 
God is a merciful God. You just ran into some circumstances that were not conducive for you dying. You were still out of order. And, and you still had the penalty over you. That's why, amen, when David told his son, yeah, I told him I was going to die, but you handled it because some suspicious. You know what I think the problem was? I got to research it. If he had ran out the house by himself and fell down, he should have put some dust on his throat. You know, he should have threw a rock up in there and got up under it. He should have did something. But he came out. <laughs> I'm on time. Man, you know what? Why would David tell his son, yeah, he said he was sorry, but you might want to check him out. It's because he came out. He came out with a thousand folk. Mm, that's kind of suspicious. He should have came. I didn't read where a thousand folk was running down the hill with him. Amen. So he came out with a thousand folk trying to put on a show. Amen. Lord have mercy. Whatever it was, it did not work in Kings. When Solomon told him not to leave, he meant don't leave. Amen. Lord have mercy. When I came out here and saw you, God loved you so much, but you can't keep doing what you doing amen i knew that was the hand of god what place plan provision god has ministry on you god has work for you to do you can't get a break and get back out there for little boosie or anybody else you got to know what god is doing amen your mama can't keep intervening god say ain't no more intervention for you i mean for you to be in the sanctuary there's no more intervention i said there's no more intervention oh somebody give god some pray because he's yet merciful God take a message on one person yes he will amen it don't matter amen somebody else here almost came close to death somebody thank God for a word a word to save your life it means something do not leave Jerusalem it's only by the grace of God that we are not burying Candace Foster it's only by the grace of God her emotions got caught up it's only by the grace of God her, amen, amen, the enemy jumped with her emotions tied it all in made a secret trip down to Florida didn't tell nobody then her mind collapsed in the middle of the street she could have got hit by a car her mind collapsed when they found her she had a towel over her in the middle of y'all better quit playing it Grace Apostolic this is the house of God when God see you to the house he's saying live She's supposed to be dead. Her mind collapsed. Here come a car and God let the car stop while she was laying in the middle of the street. Brought some 
something deep, but I had to leave my scene to save somebody's life. Amen. Thank God for a word. Thank God for a blood covering. Thank God for another chance. When God told you to build in Jerusalem, he meant build and don't leave. I'll show you. It's the mercy of God to blow your plans up. It's the mercy of God. The will of God is everything. You don't think the will of God let May Lee come back and give her testimony. When they opened her up, they couldn't find nothing. Amen. They took 21 limnos out and couldn't find nothing. You better tell me the will of God is everything. sheet over her she ain't moving I just got through talking to her is she dead or alive Ron I don't know I said I just got through talking to her he said if I run if I show you the street where her mind collapsed a pressure and stress and Satan just trying to do her But a car would have hit her, but a person got in front of it. Lord have mercy. Satan will take your circumstance. That's why you have God. You can't work it out. That's why you lean in the pyramid on here. It's good. Uh, I bet I got a happy parent here. Hey, Amen. Ain't your child. Some of y'all got children out the will of God. And you thank God for any word. Look what happened. Verse 41. Chapter 2. <laughs> wow. And it was... Hold on. Mother Mary said, do not let your grandbaby sit next to you. Every time she try to get up, she fades back. You can't help her. 
Every time. Something about that child, I mean, I just might as well go ahead and clean the place up. Uh, something about that child, the enemy is trying to destroy. Her mind ain't strong enough. Let her stay with Lana. Don't let her sit next to you, call you. Every time she tries to come up, she falls right back. Amen. Give it to who I told her to be with. You got to be obedient. I don't care about no relationship. Anything is better than burying them. Anything is better than having a weight. Anything is better. Do y'all know what's going on? I just jammed Zuri up by texting. You had cancer. You can't be no text when I'm preaching. You been sick before. Oh, I'm having everything this morning. This is the house of God. When you come in here, you come with praise and thanksgiving. This ain't no playhouse. If we get down to 10 people, there'll be 10 anointed people. They will be the call of God. No playhouse. Here the child that had bullets disappearing. This is the most gifted child that ever came out of her womb. She got something to offer the kingdom. You got something to offer the kingdom. Zuri got something to offer the kingdom. We ain't trying to have Taylor come up missing. We went to Lincoln. Some spirit was following her. Brian Marcus go down there looking for the young man. She's hurt. No father. She hurt. Her mother tired of her. Up and down. She got to have a house of God. Amen. We got to give her a new voice. You cannot assist in killing who you love. You got to be obedient to the will of God and ask God, amen, to show you his will. It's called pastoring. It's called pastoring. They playing with folk. When you play with folk, they die needlessly. Relatives assist Satan <laughs> by enabling. You gotta know who's in trouble. If somebody would have pulled you out, ain't no telling where you would be. Amen. If somebody had loved you and pulled you out and told you the truth ain't no telling where you would be look at what God has given you but all they did was sign off gave you a place to screw gave you a place to smoke dope didn't put you on no curfew didn't know if you were alive or dead until Newswatch 7 came up Say we rebuke you somebody should have cared enough about you to love you and bring you in and hold you in and hold you accountable I'm just going to have to die being that guy. <laughs> Lord have mercy. I'm just going to have to die being that guy. And when I'm gone, somebody will go get my Zoe. Amen. Because of what I put in.
Man, I ain't trying to bury no Keisha. You too hard on people. What you got to show for what you're doing? You ain't love people enough to be hard on them. Always signing off. <laughs> you supposed to pull people in. Your love is supposed to be greater, amen, than their attitude. Well, shimmy I you don't get another chance. You don't get another chance. Solomon told him, and I'm done. Did I not make thee to swear by the Lord? At verse 42. And protested unto thee, saying, Know for certain, on the day thou goest out, and walk us abroad any whither, that thou shalt surely die. And thou said unto me, the word that I have heard is good. <laughs> to be complicit. Glenda would have been up under the casket. Helping her daughter make that move. That's how close we came. Up under the casket. <clears throat> to know that I helped assist Satan. That what I brought home from the hospital, I helped put in the ground. Because I got tied into the emotion. Lord, have mercy. But God was merciful. God was merciful. But the message this morning, quit playing with him. Do not leave Jerusalem. Under any circumstance, stay in the will of God. Amen. If you don't know what the will of God is, run and dive in that pool. Amen. And find out what God has for you. All of us have problems. All of us have things pulling on us. All of us. <laughs> but some of us, thank God, our spirit triumphs our flesh. If it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, I said if it wasn't for the Holy Ghost, if it wasn't for the power of God, everyone has been hemmed in by their emotions. Everyone. But it's the power of God. Aren't you glad this morning that whatever you plan on doing never got down into your heart? Hallelujah. Here's what he told him. Why then hast thou not kept the oath of the Lord, the commandment that I have charged thee with? The king said, Moreover to Shimei, thou knowest all the wickedness which thy heart is privy to, that thou didst to David my father. Therefore the Lord shall return thy wickedness upon thy own head. And the king Solomon shall be blessed, and the throne of David shall be established before the Lord forever. So the king commanded Benai, the son of Jehoiada, which went out and fell upon him. 64 miles is all he went. He wasn't supposed to go one mile out. And it's over. Every head bowed. 
That is the message for the day.